Today is our last day in Tokyo, which is very sad, but we wanted to make it special. So we asked you guys to help us plan a full day here in yes. Tokyo by asking a series of questions on our Instagram stories and having you guys submit and pick out exactly what we do today. Starting with a favorite cafe that you would like us to try and you guys answered with Little Darlings Roasters. Oat milk lattes, hot. <laughs> All right, the vibes in here are immaculate. So good. You're not okay, gonna cheers. choose me? You always forget to cheers me. <laughs> wow. And that's the best cup of coffee I've had all month. This is really good. Really and also amazing. one of the few places here that has oat milk. So that's another yes, check plus. Box. Everywhere always has soy milk. Or and almond milk. Yeah. We also got a scone. It looks incredible. Look at this. The cream cheese scone. Better cover my face. <laughs> <laughs> it it looks, looks really so good. good. Alright, you ready? Fantastic. Really, really good. You guys are off to a great start. Yeah, what the heck? So the next thing that we asked you guys to pick for us was an outdoor activity or a market to go to. And one that really caught our eyes was the Tsukiji Fish Market. We've heard a lot about it, yeah. we haven't tried it yet. Still haven't been. I know. So. here at Tsukiji Fish Market and yes. it is busy and it is looking it's amazing. So and there's so much fish. I know. There's I didn't just... think I'd see that much, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's literally a fish market. <laughs> this place is so big. It goes from all of these inwards parts all along this block, like In that, that way. way. And all the way that way. And it's all it goes inwards, and it's all just people selling fish, meat, fruits, everything. Right here, there's like sushi grade knives, and they're sharpening them right there. My mom would be loving this. <laughs> It is very crowded in here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze. You see this? <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want? Tuna? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, All of this for 2,000 yen. I know, it's crazy. That's amazing. Oh, not a lot came out. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm excited. I'm Try nervous. It. I think I put too much wasabi on it. Really? <laughs> you know, my first try is gonna be salmon. A lot of you guys were judging us for our sushi order in our thrifting vlog. Yeah. And to that I say, sorry about it. <laughs> Always gonna be a salmon lover. <laughs> but clearly we compromise, we have no. more. Is it good? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, look at all this Wagyu beef. This is crazy. We need to try some. Oh yeah. Can we have two of them? Two my sticks? Yes. There's our pieces right there. Oh. Are you ready for this? You got two? Yes. I thought you got one. No, two. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So Let's go. Excited. So this is A5 Wagyu beef. Oh, it's like dripping. Oh, oh. <laughs> is it good? That's the best thing I've ever tried in no, my life. Are you serious? Stop. Let me try it. Let me try it. It's just very juicy though. <laughs> 
I love that face. When she makes that face, it's the stamp of approval. I am not exaggerating. That was the greatest bite of anything I've ever experienced. I mean, okay, <laughs> that's crazy. I'm, I'm not even kidding. You think I'm like exaggerating? That was the best bite of meat I've ever had. That was one of the most pleasurable experiences yeah, it was really, of really my good. entire existence. You have to come here. Yeah. This was an incredible recommendation by you guys. So the next thing we asked you guys to recommend was a museum or exhibit besides Team Lab, because we've already been. And you guys recommended Mori Museum the most, so let's go. That place was so cool. It was so fun. It was very modern mm -hmm. art. Yeah. It is a museum that makes you feel a lot of different emotions. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff, mm -hmm. a lot of futuristic stuff. Yeah. Loved really it. Really cool. Thank you for the recommendation. We're hungry again, of yes. course. And we asked you guys to name us some of your favorite restaurants mm -hmm. here, specifically for Japanese food. So we have one booked for right about now. Yes. And we're excited. Let's go try it out. So this is a spot called Kintan and it's Japanese barbecue which is otherwise known as yakiniku and we haven't tried that yet but you guys recommended it. I'm so excited. Yeah we just put our order in and we get to cook the meat right here. It's hot. Okay how do I do it? Just <laughs> put it on there. Slap it on. I don't know how to cook it. <laughs> Maybe you burnt this thing. Our first That's not medium rare. Good? Mm. <laughs> wow. We have a lot more to make. Let's get busy. Wow. That's good. That looks amazing. Oh, they make some of the best meat here in Japan. It's unbelievable. All right, next we asked you guys to pick us a good bar spot, which is gonna be nice because we still haven't been to a bar our whole time in Tokyo. And you guys once again gave us so many answers and none were the same. So we picked one that just like stood out to us and had really cool drinks and it was called Orchard Bar in Ginza, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it should be really fun. All right, we've been looking everywhere for this place. Almost gave up, <laughs> but I finally see it. You see it's right way there? Way up there. Seventh floor. <laughs> Bar Orchard. Yes. All right, so let's go. So we walk in here and he tells us that the menu is that right there. It's basically like a basket of fruit. Mm -hmm. You choose one fruit, and there's gonna be a customized cocktail that he brings out to you with that fruit as the I'm main ingredient. Strawberry. I don't know what I'm gonna choose yet. Probably lemon, or they have like, Ooh, yeah, they have like grape, cantaloupe, lime. I don't know, but so far, Such a cool concept. very cool concept. Very interesting bar. I'm excited to try this. Wow. <laughs> Christmas so party. <laughs> oh. Wow, that is too cute. So we have signature cocktail. Use lime mix. Open it. Oh, is it in here? Wow. Oh, it's so cute. Wow. 
<laughs> so cute. Wow, Merry Christmas. I love it. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. No, try, try mine. mine. No, you're going to love mine. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at this, guys. It's a little strawberry. Mm. Mine's better than mine. Yeah. This is insane. <laughs> it's so good. Wow. Is that one ginger? Ginger? Yes. Can I have ginger? Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 We're doing a tail. New York style. <laughs> Thank you. Ginger, grape juice, lime, honey, and cardamom. Thank you. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Oh, that was longer than I expected. That's crazy. That was the most unique bar I've ever been to. Like. Yeah, same. I don't think that there could be a better presentation. No, it was amazing. All the drinks were really, they tasted great. The guy who owns the bar was so sweet. Everybody here in Japan is just the best. Yeah. We're so in love with the city. We're so sad to be leaving. <laughs> I don't want to talk about no. it. No. <laughs> but the final thing that we asked from you guys was to recommend your favorite nighttime activity for us to do. And most of you gave us some sort of answer of walking around in a different part of the city, like Omotesando, Roppongi Hills, or Shibuya. So we thought it'd be nice if we went back to Shibuya tonight because it's one of our favorite areas of Tokyo. And we haven't been really back there since the first day that we were in Tokyo. So it'll be nice full circle moment for yeah. us. We'll go there for our last night and take it all in one more time.